Guess what? I lost all the audio in Zach's interview. Point of this video is to see if age really matters in the struggles of a developer. So we got Alan, he's 19 years old. We've got German, he's 24 years old. And we got Craig, he's 46 years old. Zach would have been the 30 year old in the group. And I want to see, is there a difference between the decades? So in the teens, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, is there a difference in struggles when it comes to learning as a developer, uh, the only, currently the only one out of the three is Alan who works as a developer, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to look at that, but I'll, I'll show the results and we'll see what we have. What I really want to see, is there a difference between age? Because I know there's a lot of people out there in their late 30s who are starting to become developers and they're not sure if it's a young man's game or not, and I don't think it is. I think it matters on the mentality because you got 18 year olds who don't know what the hell they're doing with their life and you got 35 year olds who don't know what the hell they're doing with their life. And you have the total opposite. You have the 18 year olds that know what they're doing with their life and the 35 year old guys that know what they're doing with their life. So it really depends I think on the mentality. But let's see what the results show and I'll let you guys come up to your own conclusions. So give me a little introduction about yourself. So right now um, I'm currently 19 years old. I moved from New Orleans to Houston um, and I'm working as a software engineer at a software company building an LMS system. Um, so I do both software and design for them. Um, all right, so 46, learning to code. Uh, about a year ago, I tried online college, dropped out of that, started self-taught, uh, worked on that for a while. Um, started a YouTube channel, uh, just because of my age, learning to code at my age. Um, and most recently after moving and switching jobs, uh, I am enrolled in a part-time coding bootcamp with Flatiron. All right, so my name is German Cruz. I am from California. And so I'm 24 years old and I work as a behavioral instructor at a company called, um, in college, I was majoring in uh, computer engineering, but when I first took my first CS class plus, that's when I fell in love with programming. Uh, a few years later, I found out that college wasn't for me. Didn't like the, the whole thing about college and its courses and the gen ed and stuff. What are your biggest issues when learning? I would say recently would just be finding the time to learn. So post work, um, I have nine hour days and then I have a one hour commute each way. Um, so just finding time to sit down and learn in general, that's a struggle. But um, pre-work, I would say just finding the motivation to do it. Like um, if, if you're doing it for the money, um, it's not going to be fun every single day until you start a lab, like incorporating some more personality into it. Mm -hmm. um, and so you start building the projects that you actually want to build. You know, obviously, uh, procrastination, uh, distractions, not uh, letting other things distract you, kind of trying to stay focused. Um, as far as spe specifically when, when I've been trying to learn, I think my biggest obstacle with any of it is uh, syntax. And I know I hear that a lot from people that that's a lot of people have that issue. What is... Uh... Now, that's a hard thing because I did a video today about that and um, I'm a self-taught developer and everyone gets to that point where you have to stuff. So um, the thing about self-taught college boot camp is that you're on your own uh, most of the time. So you don't have a mentor. Uh, you might be feeling overwhelmed with everything. Dealing, it, dealing with right now is the learning purgatory. I feel like College was that I didn't. I was doing things I wasn't interested in. Yeah. Struggle mostly about. Uh, I struggle with that type of stuff. So I try. I kind of changed my mindset. Um. Basically, take on projects I'm really interested, in. and I think that's the best way to learn as a self-taught developer. I think what I struggle with right now is um just the boring stuff. Like I, I don't want to learn things I don't need to learn. And I think that's you don't go to boot camp or college. Yeah. At work, what are your biggest struggles? So is it communication, 
I I think it depends. I think my answer is going to be different from other people's answers because at work, I am basically the expert. So if I get stuck in something, no one there can help me out. So I'm basically on my own. Um, and just having to deal with that, it's not a, it's not a broken up process. Like bigger companies, um, you'll get a little piece of a project. So it'll be like, hey, build this component to do this one thing. At my company, I have to design the UI. I have to architect the whole thing. Um, I have to figure out how it's all going to be routed, where props are going to be passed. Um, and just doing that all by myself without any help it can be frustrating sometimes. Um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a fairly social person. Like I just started this new job last week, and I've had no issues with being able to introduce myself to people, talk to people, whatever. I feel like I'm pretty social. Uh, the type of job I have now is not a dev job. It's working in a warehouse, but I don't feel like I have an issue or a problem um, communicating with people. All right, so like I said, I work as a behavioral instructor. And so that basically means I work with a and the problem with working at, with, with that company is uh, specifically super unorganized. So think of it like this. I just, I started working there in December and I haven't really had a set schedule for a couple months. If you're struggling with money like me and you are in my position to be struggling with money for a, quite a while, they're really this unorganized not to give you uh, a set schedule. Do you think your current age affects you becoming a developer or being a developer? So in the industry, do you think your age affects anything? Yeah, totally. So I think it affects us young people more than other people realize because whenever um, like developers talk about ageism in uh, the industry, they usually talk about, you know, being 60 and being judged about your ability mm -hmm. to perform a certain task. But I got judged the same exact way, just coming from a different perspective. The, um, one of the first interviews I had was at this company in New Orleans. And um, like right off the bat, they started picking things off of my resume. They were like, oh, how come you don't have this experience? How come you don't have this? How come you don't have that? How come, what happens if, um, you don't show up on time. Uh, absolutely. Let me elaborate on that. I mean, okay. Let me let me let me ask onto that. Do you think you struggle differently than someone nineteen years old when it comes to learning code? Absolutely. You want to elaborate on that a little bit? Sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think. Um, and it's not a blanket answer because you could be 20 years old and have a different mindset than another 20 year old. I think that there's less distractions. Um, when I'm off work and things like that, I'm not worried about getting on to play a video game. I'm not worried about running to get ready to get all fancied up to go out to hit the club. I'm not, uh, there's less distractions for, um, for learning, I think the younger tiers, the younger age groups have a lot more distractions because there's a, there's a lot more going on in your life. I think when you're, and there's a lot going on in your life when you're older too, but I think they're different kind of things. If I'm going to hire an 18 year old expert, I'm a, you know, CEO of a company. Like if I'm going to hire an 18 year old expert, I'm going to hire that 18 year old. If he's going to be 70 years old, year old, uh, man, woman, doesn't matter if you're a dog, I'm gonna hire you. <laughs> so those were some really interesting results. We got to see three different opinions from three different age groups and three different life situations. And when I saw some similarities between the three, I'm still convinced that mentality is the most important thing and how you go into a problem and how you put your the, the mind, the state of mind you're in when you're going into that problem. I still think that's the most important key to how you end up solving it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks to Alan, thanks to German, and thanks to Craig for being in this video. Also, thanks, thank you, Zach. I'm sorry about the audio. OBS really doesn't like you. So that's, that's your fault. 
Uh, I'm just kidding. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.